Hey everyone, FPS Chasley here. Uh, in this video, well, as you may or may not be able to tell, I'm on Windows 10. I have not uploaded any Dangerous Water since I've upgraded to Windows 10 about almost two months ago, but that's beside the point. Today, I'm going to make a video showing you how to play Dangerous Waters in a window on Windows 10. So let's get to it here. So the program I'm going to be using is called DXWND. I believe there are one or two other programs that you can use, but I'll be using this one. Uh, down below in the description, you can find a link to this profile that you need to launch the game if you want to download it. Otherwise, I'll be walking you through here what the settings need to be for this in case you don't want to download it for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So if we try and launch Dangerous Wars here, this should not be able to run into a window. So yes, so you need to be in 16-bit color depth to run into a window, but Windows 10 does not support 16-bit color depth. So what we have to do is use this DXWND program instead. Okay, so now that we have DXWND open, uh, link below in the description to this program, we can go ahead and create our profile that we need in order to run this game. So what we're going to do here first is you're going to go into options and check expert mode. We want that on. And that is because if you don't have that on, it won't give you the full options we need to modify to run the game properly here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click this, this, this main prompt here and do add the help with the help of some of my friends. We figured out the settings you need to run this into a window here. So what we need to do on this first screen here is you need, you need to give this a nickname. So we'll call this Dangerous Waters for window video. Path, you need to navigate to your Dangerous Waters directory and select the game executable and then do open. That's all I need to do for that. We don't need to adjust these two bits. Down here, we're going to check do not notify on task switch. And we're also going to check no banner. We're also going to do keep aspect ratio. We're going to change this. I'm running the game at 1024 by 768, but you're going to want to adjust these for whatever resolution you use. If it's not the same, I think the game will still run, but it might look pixely or clunky. But just to let you know, these should match what you have uh, in game. So if we come to the next screen here at hook, we're going to want to change injection mode here to inject suspended process. I don't know what some of these settings do per se, but I just know that they work. So we're just going to go with that kind of outside the scope of this video, what these settings actually do besides let you play the game on the video tab here. We're going to change window style to thin frame, initial virtual color setting to 32 bits. We're going to turn off emulate wind maximize and turn on force wind resize. And we're going to turn on hide taskbar. We're also going to come down here and click locked size. And then these fields aren't checked, but just to be sure, we're going to change this to 640 by 480. And we're going to come down here and select 1024 by 768. Shouldn't make a difference because we don't have these boxes checked, but we're just going to do it. Okay, if we come over to our next screen here. So we're not going to change anything on the input tab. Let's come to direct X. We're going to switch emulation from primary surface to none. And we're going to keep everything else set as default here. Let's come to direct X two. And over here, we're going to leave everything as default as well. If we come to direct 3d, we're going to come down here to swap effect and check force swap effect. I feel like I'm doing startup for like a, a jet fighter or something here. And we're going to also click this emulate button here. Not going to do anything on the timings tab here. Logs. We're going to leave this as default libs. We're not going to change anything here either. Come to compatibility. We're going to leave this as default as well. Registry. We're not going to touch anything here. Notes. We're not going to touch anything. Duh. OpenGL, we're going to come to OpenGL and we're going to uncheck hook WGL context calls. SDL, we're going to leave default and tweaks, we're going to leave default. So what we're going to do now is do OK. And let's uh, double click this and see what happens. Hey, look, there you go. Got ourselves dangerous waters running in a window on Windows 10. 
So I hope this helps. Once again, you can follow my instructions here. I guess, or you could, uh, you know, just go down to the description and download this profile. So when you download the profile, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to file import, and then you're just going to navigate to where the file is located, click it and do open, and then it should work for you. So let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments field down below. And I hope this video helps you guys out. I, I prefer running dangerous waters in a window so I can get to frequency sheets and stuff like that more easily. But anyway, hope this helped. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, good hunting.